Alright guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Atletico CP. So, I've finished the season. I can't remember the last time I actually did one of these because it's been a few days. So, um, yeah, apologies for that. I've just been getting stuck into it. I've been working on a few different bits and bobs. Uh, you might want to stay tuned because later on this week I'm going to be releasing a promo to something that's going to be coming that's going to be quite big. And a lot of other people in the community that you will know of, like other YouTubers that do Football Manager, you will know you'll know them, they're going to be involved too, so definitely keep an eye out for that, it's going to be quite big but yeah, again, uh, apologies but we did finish the season and we'll uh, we'll show you how it went, so I think what was the last game we played against um, Bovista I think it was it was an 8-1 win uh, I won't go through each result individually because we'll be here for hours but yeah, all in all we, we definitely improved our consistency this year, picking up um, you know, there was that points where we, we started building a little run, but it didn't come to anything, which in the past has been like maybe one win and then followed by a fair few losses, etc. But towards the end of the season, we looked quite good. Uh, this sort of area here, uh, towards the end of the season, went on a little bit of a blip towards the end, but uh, we picked it up from the last two games with convincing wins at home. So there was definitely a, a lot of optimism coming into the season after we... Uh, after we ended the the last season, and we started actually really well in the uh, cup competition, which we've never actually qualified from until this year. So I don't, I'm not sure what happens next. I don't think the next round's drawn till the end of this month. So yeah, we we won we won each game, including a, a very good fight back away from home uh, to Cavia. Twenty minutes left, we seem to step up and uh, go up another gear. We've two goals from Polino, our youth team player who I'll show you in a minute and Barros as well getting the, the late uh, late winner sorry and then we went back at home and got us another fairly late winner Alonso this time with two goals been incredible again and then a convincing 3-0 win away from home to Estoril so that was really good Polino, Alonso and Marino with the goals there so yeah it was a really good start to, to the season pre-season itself we only play three friendlies but yeah we, we did beat uh, Kavir in the cup but my assistant took charge of that game and we ended up losing so yeah not too good so let's have a look at the the business we did so we signed uh, Masonda on a free transfer we had a um, a fee agreed with Chelsea that we could buy him at any time during his loan for £10,000 and fortunately his contract ran out just as his loan ended and we got him on a free transfer so we saved ourselves some money there again still 23 he's probably got another year of you know where his stats will go up dramatically before they start settling down so for this level he's, he's still a very good player and yeah I think he'll slide into the field very well the next one was Ricardo Cavallo and no not the one that played for Real Madrid where was he actually I'm not sure where he was in the, the Prem for a bit I don't think he's actually a, a regen. But yeah, he looks very good. It's five star potential here. And uh yeah, it looks like he could be quite good. So the next one was Kiko. We got him back on loan. We're not paying any wages, but we're not currently playing with wingers, but if we do he can definitely um definitely fit in. I think we're trying to train him as a centre midfielder. Yes we are. So yeah, hopefully you know, in a couple of months he'll be able to play centre midfield. He's got some pretty good stats actually for a centre midfielder. So he could definitely fit in there. And we'll see how he develops. The next one was I'm not sure how you pronounce that first name, is it Jao? Yao? Um Costa, the goalkeeper. He's officially a backup, but he he'd definitely be competing, I think, around January. Uh, we've got another goalkeeper coming in as well. I'll show you him. He's pretty good for this level. I know I say that quite a lot, but he's he's sound. He's a very good keeper. So the next one was Moise Adil, uh, Adilu. I think you pronounce that. Is French. Uh, he's a defensive midfielder who can play centre mid as well, and is also um, sort of can play centre back. So definitely a player that is worth having around in case we pick up injuries, etc. So yeah, he looks like he could be quite good. 19 years of age still too. The next one was another centre back that can also play defensive mid. So we're going for players this year that can definitely play in more than one position. But look at that picture. What a looker he is. Um his name's Ricardo Tavares. He's yeah, he looks like he'd be alright for backup. He's four stars, so we'll see how he gets on. 
The next one I think I would have paid for if I had the money, but I didn't, and we could get him on a free transfer. So uh, Pato, not the <laughs> Brazilian striker, but he's Brazilian. He plays centre midfielder on the on the wing, and he's got some very good stats. As you can see, there's technique. I like technical players. As a technical player myself, I've got pretty good technique, so I do appreciate players that are very good technically. Um, but yeah, again, just an all-round player. I think he, he will do very well this year, and he's got a very good report as well. Um, so going out, um, sorry, uh, going out was uh, Piojo. He ended the season very well for us, scoring quite a few goals last year. As you'll be able to see, here. 13 goals with 17 assists to him and Alonso up front were very good so uh, Danilo the centre back went out just to free up wages he was on about £700 here he's still got some very good stats getting a bit slower but we brought in a few younger and cheaper replacements so um, Goncalo Costa one of our youth team players has gone out on loan uh, just to try and get himself some experience hopefully he'll play a few games there this season not started yet so Again, another loan signing that's gone out. Uh, Andy Kabilias has gone out on loan to Oriental. He's yeah, he's definitely got potential. He's got the the 14 finishing, which is very good. Just maybe working his composure and he's off the ball a little bit, but he's still got a few more years of, of developing, hopefully. And the last one was uh, uh, the lad we signed first season, uh, Ricardo Neves. He's gone out on loan. It might be Neves. I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, he's gone out. It's 26 now. We got him when he was like 23, so. It's good to get him off the wages. He never really broke into the to the first team, which was a shame. But it looks like he's picked up a, an injury now for a sprained ankle, so that was quite unlucky. Hopefully he recovers from that. Um, as far as formation goes, this is how we ended the season. And we're going to do a live comp today, so we'll pick the team already. But we are very short on numbers, which is a shame. I might have to bring up youth team players. I'll show you my youth team, actually, because we've got some quite good players in there. Potential. We've got two standout players. We've got... Uh, Philip Estevez, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Estevez. Um, yeah, he looks like he'd be quite good. It's a shame we don't play wingers, or I'd start bringing him through. Might be an option to loan him out. And the other one is um, Goncalo Rodriguez, I think that is. Yeah, it is Rodriguez. He can play defensive mid or centre mid, which is obviously something that we need centre midfielders. So, yeah, definitely uh, could be breaking into the first team in a few years. We'll see. Uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as the youth team. Uh, this was the lad. Where's he gone? Grasso, you're not playing there. Uh, because Paulinho's had a very good preseason. I'll show you him now. Him and Alonso up front were, were doing very well. He's played two and scored three. 17 years of age. And you can see his stats are going up already. Which obviously the physical ones will come with age. And the technical ones obviously will come with better coaching. And with age also. So. Yeah, I'm very happy with how he's progressed so far. Still still very young. So we'll see how he gets on. But like I said, we do have a live comp today against uh, Gil Vicente, and that's not going to be an easy game. It's at home, so we'll be looking to get all three points. But let's see how we get on. All right, so we're back. So we're going Comrado in goal. Um, Barros, Erasmo, Tavares as the back three. Uh, Mateus left back, Marino right back, Pato, Santos and Masonda. Alonso and Paulinho at front. Can I get out of this actually? Because I want to show you guys something. I'll show you it after. We've got a goalkeeper coming in, and I think he's going to be a very good addition on a free transfer. That's a good team talk too. I'll show you him after if I remember. But he's going to be very good, um, and I'd expect him to walk straight in at number one. But we'll see how uh, how things go. Here we go. First game of the season. Um, I didn't show you the lead table either. I'll show you that how it finished last year. We finished in eighth, I think. Which uh, yeah, it was good to finally break into uh, into the top ten. Hopefully we can, we can keep it going. That's a good interception. It's Paulinho now. He looks like a very good player. Still 17. Stringing the passes is Alonso. Mateus with the ball in. Paulinho. It's a good head of Alonso. Gets a corner. Pato's going to swing it in. It's not a bad ball. Tavares and there's his first goal of the season and his first is it first for the club. I'm not sure if he's. He's played before in the preseason friendlies, but it's definitely his first competitive goal. It's a very good start. After eight minutes, we go one nil up. So so far, so good. Hopefully, we can keep this up. We always seem to do well first game of the season, and after that, seem to decline slightly. But here's another goal kick. Paulinho's up, and he wins it again. Is Pato, Santos, Paulinho? Oh my God, he's on. He's just incredible. 
Yeah, it has earned a, a goal because even in the build-up play earlier, he looked like he was just stringing passes. He looked like he could be a very good player. That's well played as well by the youngsters. Santos there still. Only 17, I think. He's already broken into the first team. Are we going to be able to defend this? It's only as far as Carlos, but that's put in. No one closing him down, which is a shame to concede before half time, but we'll uh, hopefully get into half time at 2 1 up. It's be three minutes of injury time, and that'll be it. Not really seen a lot from Alonso, uh, but you know that he's a, a player that if he gets a chance, he will put it in, hopefully, anyway. So, start of the second half, we're underway. Hopefully, we don't concede early. Pato's up, he loses out. Zero. Just knocking it around. This looks like it could be dangerous. That's too easy. He's missed. He's put it wide. It's a golden opportunity to draw level. But here's a goal kick. Paulinho takes it down. Goes for a shot. That's quite greedy. But we've still got it. Marino. Alonso. There he is. Like I said. That's the one chance he needs. Good ball in from Marino. Paulinho got quite lucky because the shot was going absolutely nowhere I think that's good arriving late timing of the run was key but there's a highlight from kickoff here and it'd be absolute suicide to concede just after ah that's alright this could be our highlight unless that was the highlight oh okay what have you done <laughs> what did you do that for <laughs> oh dear oh dear that wasn't clever. Here's Alonso with a free kick. He's at the bar. Pato's there. Can't get it though. It's going to be a throw into us, I think. Yeah. No highlights there though. Probably going to start thinking about subs about now. So look, Santos. Could do the rest. Who do we go? Go whack him, I think. Um, anyone else? Everyone's playing well. Don't really want to disturb it. And the fitness is looking pretty good as well. Which is good. Another thing we're trying to bring in is a, a right wing back because Basso's unhappy. He wants to leave. I'm trying to play him um, right wing back, but I think we'll probably get someone better in. And Marino's getting on a bit now. He's losing a bit of his um, you know, physical attributes. They're going down quite a bit, which is a shame. Masonda's just picked up a knock, so that's the next sub. And luckily we do have a fair few. Oh, he's absolutely nothing to. Uh, Kiko that'll do go on people are shouting in the house it's never good apologies if you can hear that but yeah hopefully we'll hang on to this don't concede we've won that Paulinho's in there can you, can you beat him can you put another ball through he can Kiko scores a substitute well played Paulinho again hold the ball up wait for the run and the timing was to perfection too that's an absolutely incredible performance from him and well done to Kiko as well getting forward and that is that I think with 13 seconds left just gonna see if we can see out this attack it's well played well done lads that's good up to third which will do um, first game of the season obviously still quite early but we're carrying on the he, um, taking the momentum forward from what we had last year which is very good I'll show you that keeping out actually and the league table from last year quickly before we finish uh, does it say anything about Paulinho? yeah so it should because he had a very good game there we go look at that played three scored four two assists two man of the matches too very good uh, trying to get rid of some people as well just for for wages trying to bring in a uh, right wing back but he, I don't think he can play there but we could train him Danny Fox I think he's too good for this level we'll see though see if he fancies a trial this is the goalkeeper um, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name I think it's K I don't, I don't even know someone will point out to me I'm sure but for 23 years of age he's got good handling good kicking uh, one on ones and stuff we worked on very good influence at his position as well so yeah I think he could be a very good very good keeper for for this level like I always say that is all I'm trying to do just build a team that can get us out of this division and as you can see here we're definitely doing that we're, we're improving each year last year we finished ninth, so we broke into the top 10 finally 
uh, we finished 15th season before that and first season we finished 17th so each year we've been progressing ever so ever so slightly but I think this year hopefully we can break into the top five and then maybe next year go for promotion but we'll see where this year takes us you know, hopefully we can get even higher than top five I mean that'd be good so yeah thanks for for watching it guys and hope you did enjoy and stay tuned because that big announcement will be coming very soon peace